Hello, my name is Young Jae Sung, and I'm a PhD student in SXBCI group. And I'm going to present about my research. Uh, my, res my main research is about onset detection, uh, which, is the current, which is the main problem in current stage of BCI. Uh, BCIs can be categorized as Q-based system or self-paced system. A QA system must user must follow uh, the machine's own timing protocol. Uh, I brought a figure to help you understand. So this QA BCI and the machine let user know when to start and when to stop thinking. And user must follow the machine. And however, self-paced BCI the user just send the date, they send the comment whenever they want, and the machine understand. So, for this reason, QA system has much higher accuracy rate normally. But in terms of user friendly, in terms of user friendly, the self paced system has more more intuitiveness design and it has a more benefit. So to self-paced BCI be worked in outside research setting, uh, onset detection could be an uh, answer to help that. Uh, for example, uh, onset detection in the Google Now for, for example, if I say OK Google, what's the weather today? Today's forecast for Colchester Yeah Like this, when I say OK Google, then machine understand uh, whether I'm talking to the machine or talking to other people So for, for example if I just say, what's the weather like today? The machine never understand whether I'm talking to the machine or talking to somebody else. So to solve this problem, OK Google, the onset detection, needs, is a compulsory. So I'm going, I'd like to, I'm, I'm researching about the onset detection, like at OK Google, but using brain signal. So I've tested with some uh, some high pitch production versus idle state. In this case, idle state means no task, and just staying without any thinking and without any body movement, and classifying the high pitch, like thinking about mm sound, classif classifying from the idle state, it gives some um, good results. This is my research area, and thank you very much.